the channel. It's all on the short reactions here. Alan's just coming, taking his time. He's still, he's still recovering from last night. He's away into his room, he's quite sad. Because uh, Ronaldo, the debate for Ronaldo being better than Messi, I mean, it was ended a long time, but for Ronaldo fans, last night cemented that it's over. Um, missed a penalty, took about 45 free kicks, missed a lot of them. Uh, can't even... I mean, I actually, I, I would say I feel sorry for him, but I could have been more happy watching it. You know, Billy Daft the park, Billy Daft about the place, took the first penalty in the penalty shoot because he knew he'd shite the bed if he took the last gen. Um, I'm just glad I grew up back when I used to think Ronaldo's, but I'm glad I grew up and realised that Ronaldo's not even on Messi's level. He's not even... Top four, well, he possibly could, could give him top four, but Pele and Maradona is ten times the player he is. Um, Messi's number one. Uh, I think Alan's just hiding in his room because he's, you know, he was obviously he was crying this morning. He was very upset about Ronaldo missing the penalty. Um, you know, and Ronaldo's career's been saved by another goalkeeper. Uh, another goalkeeper saved him. Uh, um, and I, if I was Bruno Fernandes or any of them Portuguese players, I would tell him to not turn up to the next game because he was trying to make it all about himself. He wanted every free kick, everything that he could take with a chance to score because he knew he was playing so bad. They wanted to score, and they couldn't even do that. We don't really count penalty shootouts goals because that doesn't count in the tournament. So, and again, he took the first one because he knew that he'd try the bed and miss if it was the fifth one. And he was very lucky to score his first that penalty anyhow because all black nearly saved it. So, we're just waiting for Alan to come so we can do the predictions. You don't get a Ronaldo top one? No, but one of them for the Ah, you know, I got a Ronaldo top, why not? You know, I might have the, a top for the goat. I've got an Argentinian top. I'm not Portuguese. A goat. But so you don't like Ronaldo then? I do, but I'm just not Portuguese, I'm going buy a Portugal top. Why? Because. You literally bought a Denmark and you're not Danish. No, it's because I don't know. But it doesn't matter, well, you're not Danish. That just defeats the whole point. I don't know, sweet steak, so. <clears throat> right, so. I had to support him. Well, but you're not going to support the. Sorry, the fifth best player in the world. If you would not. If you can even give him that. I'd even say Archie Gray's better than him. The man's 18. That's too far. It's not too far. It is. But it's not. When did Ronaldo get his big move? Exactly, he doesn't even know nothing. I'm sure it was about 21 or something. He went to Man United, right? As good as 18, he's going to Tottenham. Bigger club than Man United. He was there when he was 21. You sure? I think. You think he was 18? Most of the time. But he's going to better his results in. Yeah. And he's a centre mid, so that's right back. Perhaps play wherever he can. <laughs> wherever the manager needs him. Right. So we'll get Romania and Evans and Austria Turkey. Mm -hmm. The last two knockout games. Uh, then it's on to the quarterfinals. I, I had four days off work. I had the Saturday, Sunday, and the Monday, Tuesday. I'm getting to see them all. But sadly, I'm on for the next 10 days after that. So, but I'm off for the final. So, <laughs> I guess that's a result. I, I mean, I'm not complaining when I get the final off us. The, the most important bit of the tournament. Well, they're England are in it. I fully believe that it's going to be an England-Spain final. Spain look unbeatable. England just need to kind of... It doesn't matter how they get there. See if they can get there playing shite and then go and play good against uh, Spain. 
it's a different story. But who are they going next? We Swiss. The Swiss are going to be a hard task because they've been very good. And Granit Xhaka has been insane since he left Arsenal, so it'll be tough. But we'll talk more about that when it comes to it. That's no far away. Right, so Romania <coughs> versus Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be a good game. I really do because. Romania have got nothing to lose. It's the first time they made it the knockouts and had it since was it Georgia had you was the last time they made it to the knockouts. Is that what Marion was saying? Mm, no sure. I think it was. I think that's what he said was the last time they made it out the group was we had Manuel's it's had the the son, the Anis. So look they've got nothing to lose. They've overachieved by their marks. Obviously they've sort of like to go and try and go through. I just I don't know. I feel like Netherlands have not really clicked on yet. And maybe this is the time because everybody was saying that the same England. As long as you get through the group, it doesn't matter how bad you play, but now will Netherlands be able to kick on, you know, will it click now where I feel like it, I think it'll go extra time. That's what I think. I'm, I'm saying a 1-1 for full time and then I'm saying that Netherlands nick it in the extra time where I go for break off. Well, I've got my 1-1 goal in mm -hmm. 90 minutes. I've got that in my position and in my betting app as well. Um, I think Do you have a distinct common sense wise? I went 1-1 because I think it's going to be a close one. So does Bet365 on that say that when I have the bears, is that why you believe them? Um, extra time. I think it will stay as 1-1 mm -hmm. and then I think it will go to penalties okay. um, Penalties share the score will be 7-6 to Romania The hell? The hell? That's a bizarre score I know but it's not a bit outlandish so. I don't know if I don't I mean, Romania probably will want it to go to penalties because then it is just a 50 50 show. Mm -hmm. It's anybody so, can win it. I went with a 7 6 penalty win. <coughs> um, I, I really, I mean, I can understand why people will want, like, Netherlands of that stand so that England have at least a, a worse chance. But see, to be fair to you, if they face someone like Romania, Austria in the final wouldn't be surprised if they get beat. Genuinely, I think I think England will perform better against the bigger teams like Netherlands, France, Spain than what they do against the small teams because the small teams have nothing to lose. That's the thing. Sabaki had nothing to lose. They overachieved. They made it out of the group. That's why I think they played with so much freedom because they knew whatever happens, we've overachieved. We've done. We're proud of what we've done. You know. And I I feel like they've, that's, you know, they were so close as well to going through it. If it wasn't for Jude Bellin's away kick, they would have been in the next round. So that's why I feel like a lot of these teams like, like that. I think that's why the bigger teams are actually struggling, apart from Spain. Spain are just insane. And generally, I think if England meets Spain in the final, it could be curtains because Spain just look unstoppable. They, they don't look like they can be beat. They just look insane because, I mean, they went one round down to Georgia and then they turned it around and went four one. You know, but then again, that shows that Georgia had that kind of right. There's no fear here. Let's just go. <clears throat> Let's just go through the game. Whatever happens, happens. And they done it so well, like defensively, and then the counter attack to score was such a good move. Obviously, but then when uh, when you're playing like that, the pressure for Spain and the, mate, mate, they've got a twenty-one-year-old wing and a sixteen-year-old, right? Do you know? Do you actually know why your mouth has to come off in the seventieth minute? Because it's German law. Aye, uh -huh. you no, see the TikTok no over seventeen. Aye, uh, you see the TikTok. Aye, uh, you see the TikTok. Mm -hmm. 
And then people say, oh, but the game would be finished, but then that only gives him like 15 minutes to get showered, changed, you know, into his normal gear and into his back game. You know, which is quite mental to be fair. So that technically means in the final, they have to bring him off if they get it there, which is quite insane. It's actually quite incredible. Maybe they might make a law. Maybe they might let it slide for the final. Uh, but I feel like that's because I don't think, apart from Spain, I don't think there's been one team, like one of the big nations that have went through easily. Like England struggled, France struggled, uh, Germany struggled, Portugal struggled. Yeah, what's that, sir? I'll let me know. I'll let me know, exactly. But the Swiss, are, I've been very impressed with the Swiss. And if it wasn't for a very lucky late German goal, they would have topped that group. And uh, I'm right in saying that they would have been Germany playing that league, wouldn't it have been? Mm -hmm. No. No, then England would have got Germany in that game. That would have been good to be fair. <coughs> uh, I, I feel like that's. That's a good thing about the Euros, though. See when teams like this go through, they kind of have that fearless factor because they're like, well, we've made it out of the group. Our goal was to make it out of the group. We've done it. Now let's just go and see what happens. But that's why I feel that this game, the next game, Austria Turkey, could generally be. It could go any way and it could be a goal fest because both of these teams have made it out. When Austria didn't look like they were going to. Well, Austria. Top the group of France and Netherlands, but then you got Turkey who didn't look like they were going to go through. They also had what a game with eighteen bookings and two red cards, which is absolutely insane. And you're damn right, I'm putting like over six point five bookings on that game because <coughs> I fully believe that it'll be. But I could. This is the thing. That game could either go one or two ways. It'll either be like a no no or a one no win or. It will be an absolute goal fest. And it's like 3 2, 4 3. Because I just feel like both of them will go, well, look, we're playing Turkey or we're playing Austria. We're both made it out of the group. We're both. Uh, Austria will probably feel the most confident because they've always like, topped the group with France and Netherlands in it. So mm. I feel like Turkey will kind of go, right, well, we know they can play football. I think they'll both just go for it because they'll go for the well, we may as well. Aye. Well, for the score prediction, I've went with a 3 1 Austria win. <coughs> That's what I went with, 3 1. Yeah, because Turkey have got good players. They're not well known, but they're good players. I think. I'm going to go with a, a 2-1 Austria win. I think it will be close. I'm almost went for a draw there because I don't know. I just feel like both teams, they'll just go for it and whatever happens, happens. It's, I don't know, but I'll say 2-1. Um, I don't think anybody got any points added on yesterday, did they? I got a point. What for? Because I got to say France to win. Did I say that? I said France to win. No, I said a draw. I said a draw. Which I was close to getting. Well, I did it, I said France to win. Okay, I remember. Uh, I would it. Well, no. I just want to talk about the fact how Belgium didn't get a free kick for the film with Kaku. I just said 2 2 in the French game, actually. Did you? Right, I want to know how it's not filming Lukaku and then Franco went up the other end and scored. It was 100% a free kick, the man's pulled him. But we'll not go into that because we all know that they'll try their best to try and get France to the final. Um, but so far, there's some tasty ties in the quarter finals. You've got Germany, Spain, mm -hmm. which will be a very classic stream when they'll get to watch it. But That'll be a very I good will. game. I'm on it, so I'll get to watch it. You know what to watch it. Because if Spain go through, then everyone's hopes are 
Right this one. It's like watching football. It's a lie. You haven't no watched any of the round of 16. Hmm? You haven't no watched any of the round of 16. Why? Excuse me? <laughs> what? What are you even watching it? I wasn't missing England play. Oh, so you so I wasn't missing England play. You, you didn't serve food? And you went to Jesus? 14 in house. Right. <laughs> if you're listening, Alan went to Jesus to watch the football and if I crossed my phone for food, he said no. No, if the phone never answered it, but... You were answering the mind, but... I mean, to be fair, I mean, we shouldn't really say that you're being in Jesus because we're just getting into your things. I mean, to be fair, you're just going for a can of juice. I'm not missing my country play football. What's going on the play? In my country. Do you hate Ronaldo? If, if, if that was Romania and Marion would have watched the full game and didn't be in it. Romania are playing. Exactly. Right, so he'll be watching it. Exactly. Actually, no, he watched that. The TVs are right there. He doesn't even need to lay the room. That's what we need. A, a petition. A seal pot wash, right? I feel like there's not even a windy, right? I can't even see none. But I'm just stuck in a corner. A petition for the TV to be put in there. Or something. Something just to... I can't even see. I'm blocked in. I'm on a wee corner all the day. Just give me a TV or a radio or something. Hmm. Something to keep me a bit occupied while I'm working. I will. Uh, but. And the round of 16 games tonight. This is. And uh, this could be my chance to claw some points back. Who, who is it? Uh, so there's England, Swiss. There's Germany, Germany Spain. Spain. Who's out for you? You could have Austria and Netherlands probably. Aye. Or Romania. Turkey. Turkey, yeah. So, you, you, whoever wins tonight, please, another. You get France, Portugal. France, Portugal. Could be another good game. A France will want that. France will walk that. I think it'll be Romania, Austria. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't see Romania passing by Netherlands. As I said, I can see them getting to extra time, but I just feel like Netherlands has too much quality. You know, we may remember the good Javi Simons. You know, Vekos has played very well for them. He's came on and scored some vital goals for them. So I feel like I feel like they will they will always fight. Like every other team, as I said, no none of the big nations have made it through easy apart from Spain. And I fully believe that again tonight ne tonight tonight at five that Netherlands will have the same problem. I just feel like as I said, I just feel like the the smaller nations are just fearless because they're more overachieved. Let's just go for it, and if we get through, then it's a massive thing. If we don't, then you know mm. we've overachieved. You know, country's proud in that. Do you know what I find mental? Is right. Scotland say this is Scotland, right? Scotland say that the country's too small, right? They don't have enough populations, right? Northern Ireland, I'm pretty sure they have less population, right? Northern mm. Ireland. Made it, was it semi finals they made it to? Or was it quarter finals we always put them in? I don't know. Well, whatever, when Will Griggs was in fire, right? Northern Ireland made it far, made, put it this way Northern Ireland made it out of the group, right? Wales have made it out of the group, right? Like, there's no excuse for Scotland not to do well, right? Do you know why Scotland doing well? Because see, everywhere you go, it says no ball games. So the AstroTuffs are locked up, you have to pay to play. Uh, you're not allowed to kick a football about in the street because you've got somebody phoning the post and that's why Scotland don't succeed and that is why. So you've got 1.8 million in Northern Ireland, mm -hmm. 3.1 in Wales, uh, 5.4 in Scotland. But there, you, there you go, Wales and Northern Ireland have a smaller population and both made it far in the Euros back when they when they qualified this is what but this is the thing i'm saying scotland don't do well because anywhere you go it says no ball games or if you kick a ball about the street you know somebody will phone the balls on you because oh it might go through my window and then there's astro tufts football pitches that are literally chained up and you have to pay to go and play in it that's why scotland don't have as many talented footballers because you're not allowed to the only way you're allowed to go and play football is if you pay. So it's like, what if what if if, if Scotland really want to be better as a nation and actually maybe get out of the good stages in football? 
open open up parks and that, let folk play football. And then England's got 55.9 million. Mm -hmm. But see, that's the thing. But then Scotland fans say, oh, we've got a smaller population in England, that's why England do better. Well, that's, yes, that's true that you've got less population, but China and India have the biggest populations in the world. Does that not mean then they should be winning World Cups and that? Because that's their logic. Their logic is England have more more, uh, more uh, people, so obviously they're going to have a better team. So why China and India not doing nothing in the World Cups and that? Mm. You know, it, it, the, as I said, the pure point is because everywhere's locked up and you can't go and play football on an national turf unless you pay like fucking a hundred pound. You know, it's like a, that's a per hour, you know? And that's one thing somebody needs to change is, you know, just open up the Astros or, or build somewhere where you can go in and just play football. Like, say if you go to Netherlands or you go to Germany or you go to France or you go to Brazil, Colombia, anyway, mate, Brazil and Colombia, you can play the football in the streets. Like, they play, play in bare feet. I mean, we couldn't do that because it's bloody rain most of the time. But, as I said, they, they can just go about into a field, make a park. See, if we went into a field, like a farm, we'd get into trouble, right? The thing is, they need to open up Astra Tufts so that people who want to play football can go in there and play whenever they want. Like, maybe build... Like, maybe build somewhere, you know? Like, see where Garden Rose used to be? My old school, it's been knocked down. Why are you going to get kind of the AstroTurf there? You know? They built a brand new AstroTurf and you have to pay to play in it. Mm. Like, it's so dumb at the Carrick. It's so dumb. How do you expect your nation to go forward as a country and be good at football if literally anywhere you go, you have to pay to play in an Astro or it says no ball games here? Same Brazil. Folk are playing about the streets, there's no, no ball game signs and that, it's all just play, enjoy football and then, you know, that's why these countries succeed and why Scotland don't make it out of the group. I bet you know, I bet you know Northern Ireland they have Asher Tough so you can just go and play football. You know, same with Wales. That's why they done well at the, the Euros they go to, obviously, God forbid, now they've not done as well, but... They still made it out of the group at the time they were at the Euros and both of them went far in the competition. You know, Wales nearly bloody went on to win the thing. Did they get out of, uh, I can't remember where they got out of, uh, Northern Ireland got out of Wales because Gareth McCullough scored their own goal, I remember that. Mm -hmm. um, could we see a repeat of that? Could we see Romania, Austria, one of these countries where there's no big population? Could we see one of them maybe? Going that, going that far and, you know, maybe even getting to the final and winning it. I, I, I would love it. I'd love if a wee team won it. If England were to go, I'd love if one of these smaller nations won it. Um, but if England faced one of them in the final, I do not care. I, I won't use to lose. But if England are not in the final, then I'll probably cheer you on. Because I'd rather... Uh, it would be good. It would be good. It really would be good. Because you think how it would feel if England won it. Obviously, we've, you've never experienced it, I've never experienced it. But if you can just imagine how good it would feel for England, imagine how good it would feel for Romania, Austria, you know, one of these nations. But mm -hmm. uh, that's all for today, guys. We've spoke for 23 minutes. I think that's a well worth video. Mm -hmm. I think we've done well today. I'm going to get my breakfast slash lunch brunch. And then we'll be back on Friday. Is that when it starts back up? Friday, Saturday for the quarters. I'm on morning shift, right? I am morning shift, Friday, what are you? I'm up, um, on. Oh, that's a good time. But I don't finish till four. But that's fine. I'm morning, Friday, Saturday. Alright, well, that's fine then, because I'm morning, but I'm, I don't finish till four, so I'll be getting the fuck five o'clock more soon. Unless. How we got a day video? What do you mean? What do you mean, how many day video when I come home? No need to upload them. I would do it for them. But I'm Marlon Shift. Are you Marlon Shift first? I'm off. Oh, you're off? Well, right, we can do it. No need to upload them. Okay, I'm the first thing we're at five hours. Possibly, probably will be. Uh, but even if I would do it first, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm never the first. I'm Marlon Shift anyway, so. Aye, five o'clock's been Germany. Aye, so we're just doing it first then.
Uh, but that's all for today, guys. We'll be back on Friday for the well Thursday uh, for the quarters. Well, we might do it on the Thursday. We we'll put it on the Friday. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put it up on Friday. Um, uh, for fr Friday morning or something. Ah, you could put it up. Or you could put it up when you're at work. I'll finish it half two on Friday, so. Uh, so. Oh wait. Alright, so <coughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.